I found an old document on my hard disk about how to make an IF filter on 455 kHz. And it's completely homebrew, so let's see how it works. This is the first page from this old document. It was never published. I had to DID to publish it on YouTube, oh, sorry, on the Lulu, on the Lulu website, but anyway. How you see, here you see how it was made. Two pieces of PVC tube are cut and cardboard is added to the top and the lower part from that PVC tube and the cardboard is cut with a scissor into a round part here and after that the whole, whole thing is covered very well in PVC glue. That's the type of glue that's used for sewage pipes. That has the ideal isolating effects, doesn't take up moisture, etc. Here again, these two coil forms. And here again. And here I was testing these two coils with the ferrite rod on my wobbler. That video is on YouTube, I'm absolutely sure. And here is a critical position from these two coils close to each other. And when you move one of the coils into another direction, uh, the bandwidth, the peak that's visible on the scope and created by the wobbler uh, vanishes. So there is a critical position between these two tubes. They have to have a certain distance to make this filter work with a good bandwidth on 455 kHz. Here again the same experiment and how it was mounted uh, finally on a piece of wood, multiplex wood, varnished with glue for PVC tubes, sewage tubes and again the same picture and here the definite version. The two coils are now in a certain distance and with the screw here I can move in the ferrite rod up and down and uh, give the IR filter a certain peak. The ideal pass band on 455 kHz. I have to say I mounted here also a cap from approximately 100 picofarad and here also, but that's the way to do it. Same picture. You can see the caps here, they are green. And you have to uh, find out these caps experimentally to give it a good peak on 455 kHz with a certain bandwidth. And the caps that I used are, say, 220 picofarad ceramic caps, ceramic caps. Something to test when you want to make it all by yourself. Here the filters are mounted in uh, a tin plate, tin plate uh, can, and that was not the ideal situation. So when you want to make such a filter yourself, mount it for instance in a copper enclosure or a brass enclosure or aluminium. That works much better. This uh, iron here uh, has a bad influence on the peak from the homemade IF filter on 455 kHz. So that was all to tell. This is the finished product. 
but again uh, in the past I have also uh, not used these uh, tin cans but made a paper enclosure from a cardboard roll that also worked good of course in that situation uh, mount your IF filters quite far apart from each other to avoid influence electromagnetic influences but that's not a big problem so a cardboard roll to mount in these homebrew IF filters will work properly wish you luck